This is the 00-295 digital respirometer. Anesthesia Associates also has a respirometer that is a digital respirometer, very similar to the right respirometer that's analog, using exact same principles, but it's a digital version. This device has a digital readout in the front that will allow you to see the numbers directly. To turn the unit on, you press the on button. The display will indicate that it's ready to go. There are other controls as well, including a hold button, which allows you to freeze the display during the course of your measurements. If you need to stop during a tidal volume measurement or some other minute volume measurement, perhaps, or something like that. There's also a backlight that is available that allows you to see the display more clearly if you're in a low light environment, as well as a reset button, which will drive the, re the display back to zero after you've completed your particular measurement. The device is very sensitive and allows you to measure airflow through even under very low flow conditions. And you can see the display changing. When you press the reset button, the display will go back to zero. The device itself is consistent of a sensor system and a control system. The two devices are separable. There's an electrical connection that allows the two to talk to each other. Two devices hinge onto each other and clip back into position. There is a press button that is used in order to do the release. The sensor itself has an inlet nozzle that is 22 millimeter male size and an outlet nozzle as well, which is also 22 millimeter male. The device comes with an adapter that allows you to turn either of those into a female if necessary for your circuit. Traditionally, the gases will come in the device, through the chamber, the measurement will be made, and the gases will exit out the lower nozzle. The device can be used to measure various flow volumes, depending on the utilization necessary for your case. The device will be used to measure, perhaps, tidal volume, if you are looking to determine whether a patient should be extubated or not. And as that gas flows through the device, you'll be able to measure the output on the display, and determine whether or not a tidal volume breath for the patient is sufficient to consider extubation. If it's not, often the patient will be reattached to the ventilator and ventilation will continue man or automatically through the ventilator prior to extubation and finding, waiting until the patient is able to breathe sufficient tidal volume to handle uh, without the ventilator assist. The device is very rugged. It's made of Norel plastic, and so it's a little bit more bounce resistant than most of the other products that are available. And again, it performs all the functions that you would normally have in an analog respirometer, but in a digital sense, where the display allows you to read directly the number versus having to infer them off the hands of an analog device. Again, this is the Anesthesia Associates 00-325 digital respirometer. Thank you very much.